Hi there, and welcome to a beautiful springtime morning in Southern California. I'm Pastor Bill Johnson of the First United Methodist Church of Orange, and this is We Are the Church. Well, a happy Wednesday to you. I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to be reading from the 10th chapter of Paul's letter to the Roman church. Today I'm going to be reading verses 13 through 17, 13 to 17. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not yet believed? And how are they to believe? in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news, but not have all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of Christ big words and part of a big missionary vision from the Apostle Paul who wanted to remind the people who were believers in Rome that making the commitment to follow Christ is only half the story. The rest of the story is being sent by him. There are three kind of stages uh, to that, that faith journey that we were talking about as the governing board of my church met last night. There's the stage in which people are gathered in, kind of like a funnel they're gathered in and then there's the stage in which we are trained and perfected in our discipleship to Jesus then there's the, the all-important third stage the sending out stage go out into the world and proclaim the name of Christ for Paul is reminding us that the message of Jesus has been passed by believers from generation to generation to generation and if any generation should content themselves with loving Christ only but never telling the next generation about him well, then the church would die in that generation because nobody is born as a Christian. We turn to Christ as we come to know him throughout our lifetime. Every generation must be about the business of telling the next generation about Jesus Christ and reminding them that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We live in an amazing time because we are now able to connect with one another in so many different kinds of ways. We uh, have the internet, we have uh, Facebook and all the social media, we have our emails, we have uh, telephones of course, but the phones are used almost exclusively for the, the apps that we have on them now and hardly anybody ever calls anyone anymore. There are so many ways to reach out and to touch the lives of people around you. And uh, we were reminding ourselves last night that when the pandemic started, and we were forced to practice safe distancing at home. It was a year ago. We have actually passed the one year anniversary of that moment. And at first, as a pastor, my heart was all about making sure that my flock was, um, was not being discouraged, uh, that they were not upset. And I made the commitment to be here every day with you all so that we could encourage one another uh, on a daily basis through the time of pandemic. Well, uh, the world is changing and we're going to be coming out of the pandemic but we're going to continue to stream worship and for the time being we're going to continue to have this daily video available I do hope that because we've named it We Are The Church that many many more voices in the congregation will join in offering content on, uh, on a daily basis so that you're not just hearing the pastor's voice but many of the voices of the First United Methodist Church of Orange but here's the other thing uh, we can all begin the process of being sent by God by sending uh, the Word of God on a daily basis as well. Let me ask you this. When's the last time you copied the link to one of these daily videos and sent it to a friend? Or when's the last time you emailed it to a number of your friends? Or when's the last time you started a, an email relationship with somebody just for the point of talking to them about their discipleship? There is, uh, after you're done watching this video, a little button down in the corner that says subscribe. 
Have you subscribed yet to the First United Methodist Church of Orange's YouTube page? It doesn't cost you a thing. Just click the button and then every time we have a new video up, you get a reminder in your email and uh, you get a chance to share a little more encouragement with one another. It's so easy in our generation to begin to be the people who, uh, who are sent by God to influence the world. We need as a church, we long for the opportunity to share the message of Christ any way we can. And in this bright new 21st century, we have an opportunity to, uh, to use things like this daily video to reach the world for Christ. So if you see a daily video, it really touches your heart, don't just walk away from it. Send it to a friend. Say, hey, this meant a lot to me. Maybe it'll mean a lot to you too. And in this way, we can be the faithful church. I look forward to talking to you more about that in the weeks to come. But for now, let's be in prayer. We thank you, God, for this day to, to uh, be in your presence, to be with one another. We ask your blessing upon us as uh, people of faith, as your church. We ask, oh God, that even today, right now, we might be moved to pray for the coming generations, that they will come to know you, to glorify your name, and to do your work for the world that you have made. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Well, again, friends, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's free. And then you'll be up to speed on the First United Methodist Church's uh, YouTube page. Uh, God bless you all. And I'll see you uh, again tomorrow. In the meantime, wash your hands, read a psalm, tell somebody today that you love them. We'll talk to you soon.